In this video we're going to have a look at solving projectiles problems but with a method that doesn't involve vectors. The question says uh, you should ne neglect air resistance in this question. So a small stone is projected from ground level. The maximum height of the stone above horizontal ground is 22.5 meters. So let's try and get this into a diagram just to make sure that we understand what's going on. So projected from ground level. So thrown upwards, then it'll come back down again. And what we're told is the maximum height. That's roughly the uh, position of the maximum height is 22.5 meters, 22.5 meters. <clears throat> Show that the vertical component of the initial velocity of the stone is 21 meters per second. Right, so we're only considering vertical motion here. So I've drawn an up arrow, that's my positive direction. So S, U, V, A, T. The displacement, when it's at its maximum height, is 22.5. Because it's at its maximum height, the velocity is zero because it's just turning. If we're considering up to be the positive direction, which we are, acceleration goes in the opposite direction. So minus 9.8. And it's the initial velocity, the vertical component of that, that we're trying to find. So U, we don't know. T, nothing to do with the question. So it says show that the vertical component of the initial velocity of the stone is 21 metres per second. Okay, I should really label this part one as well. 21 metres per second. So we've got v squared equals u squared plus 2as. That's the equation that relates to this. v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So 0 squared equals u squared plus 2 minus 9.8 times... 22.5 okay so let's work that out so 2 times minus 9.8 times 22.5 equals minus 441 so we've got 0 equals u squared minus 441 which means that u squared equals 441 which means that u equals so the square root of 441, which hopefully is 21, and yes it is, u equals 21 metres per second. Okay, so we've got that, so part two, it said the speed of projection is 28 metres per second to find the angle of projection of the stone. Well, first of all, we've got the vertical component is 21 metres per second. We don't know the horizontal, but we do know the resultant. So if we represent this using a diagram, we do know the horizontal, we do know the vertical, and also we do know the resultant. So we'll get this information on a diagram. So the speed of projection is 28. The vertical component we just worked out would be 21. And we don't know the horizontal component. Let's call that U with the subscript H, U horizontal. Well, first of all, uh, the angle of projection. We can easily find that out using trigonometry. So make that the angle theta. Well, we know that we've got the opposite and the hypotenuse. So sine theta equals the opposite over the hypotenuse over 28 which means that theta equals, so if we inverse sine, 21 over 28. So basic GCSE trigonometry, we get 48.6 degrees to three significant figures. 48.6 degrees to three significant figures. And find the horizontal range of the stone Okay, so part three, the horizontal range. Well, first of all, it helps to find the initial velocity in the horizontal direction. So looking at this triangle we've drawn here, we can see that this side here is the horizontal initial velocity. Well, we can simply just use Pythagoras. Un equals the square root of 28 squared. Take 21 squared. 
So the square root of 28 squared, take 21 squared, equals 7 root 7. Right, so now we need to work out how long the projectile was in the air. So, looking at this here, it will work out how long it was up in the air for and back down. We can then work out how far it travelled. So, again, considering up to be positive, this time, I want the time when the displacement is zero. I want it back on the ground again. So, I want to find when the displacement is zero. So, it's zero here, all the way up, down again, and it's zero again here. So, S, U, V, A, T. So, now the initial speed we said was 21 upwards. Velocity, don't know it. Acceleration equals minus 9.8. And time, we don't know. But that's what we're trying to find out. V, nothing to do with the question. So I'm going to use S equals UT plus a half AT squared, which means that 0 equals 21T plus a half minus 9.8T squared. And a bit of a trick here, we can just simply put this quadratic into our calculator using the quadratic solver. It's equal to zero, so the calculator can solve it. Polynomial degree two. So the coefficient of x squared, or t squared in this case, is a half times minus 9.8, which is given us as minus 4.9, we knew that. 21, the other coefficient, which means that the time is 30 over 7 and 0. We knew it time 0, it had 0 displacement. So looking at that again, 30 over 7 is the time, which means that the time equals 0 or 30 over 7. But as I said before, we knew it time equals 0 because it started from the ground that the displacement was 0. So time equals 30 over 7. Right now, considering horizontal motion only, Again, S, U, V, A, T. Displacement is what we're trying to find. The initial velocity was 7 root 7. The final velocity, well, in the positive, in the horizontal direction, it's actually not accelerating at all. It's only accelerating up and down. The forces acting on that, on the, um, assuming there's no air resistance, the forces acting on the particle. Uh, or only its weight, its accelerate, which creates its acceleration due to gravity. So, velocity, we can also say, is 7 root 7 in that direction. And time, we worked out to be 30 over 7. So, we've got a choice of equations here. I'm going to go for the easiest. I'm going to go for S equals U plus V over 2T, which in this case is equal to 7 root 7 plus 7 root 7 over 2 times time, 30 over 7, equals, so putting that in the calculator, we've got 7 root 7 plus, oh, let's get rid of, out of that third, 7 root 7, over 2 times time which we see is 30 root 7 which is 79.4 meters to 3 significant figures 79.4 meters to 3 significant figures and that's how we do a projectiles question without using vectors. So this sometimes might be necessary. So for more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you like this video, please click the thumbs up at the bottom.